Wilson Holdings is a fucking Ponzi scheme. That means my fucking trust fund money is gone. Yeah, and the Tejadas. What do we do now? I Man, I don't know. I think we just started a fucking mood off. What's up, little babies? Now, I am back with a season four prep. Today, we're going to be talking about Tariq and Brayden's description for season four in the last and final season. And we're going to be talking about the predictions that I think is going to happen in season four. So, let's get into the official description. So, a couple of the words was cut off the description. So, we're just going to pivot. While forming new alliances and finding a way back into the game, but when Brayden starts flirting with a new and reckless lifestyle, Tariq wonders if there really is room for two at the top. So one thing that the description indicates is that there is going to be some friction between Tariq and Brayden. I wonder if they're going to start using the clientele they had at Westing Holdings, even though Westing Holdings was probably shut down because of the Ponzi scheme. And another thing, speaking on that Ponzi scheme, there's no way Brayden did not know that they had uh, his family was running a Ponzi scheme. Even if he did, even if he didn't, how is he going to get the Sahada money back? Now, let's keep that real. How he going to make that happen then? So, we're happy Brayden took one for the team. Okay, that's what's up. We're happy you got Tyreek back. We're happy. But what are you going to do as a silver spoon fed white boy when it comes down to really making money in these streets? Like, I don't want us... You, I don't want to see you run to your dad, your sister, your brother, no fucking body. I want you to stand up on 10 toes because I feel like Brady is really going to be like off the chain this season. Like he's really going to be doing the most. And let's talk about Tariq a little bit. Let's move on. Let's get into our baby Tyreek. Yeah, Tyreek has grew up on us. Like, keep it real, y'all. Post below and give Tyreek his flowers. And I'm happy to see that he's still, you know, maintaining his... You know, just his resilience, just being who he is and, you know, standing on 10 toes. But before we get into the rest of this video, go and follow Tariq uh, Michael Rainey, which is his real name, on his YouTube channel. It's called Where is 22? And I see where he's putting his money at because the editing is fire. Yeah, I think season four is going to be a good one for Tariq. I think he's going to really show his strength in acting. He's really going to show his power within the power structure and show that he, he was really meant to be there. You know, so I'm excited to see Tariq in this season. But let's get into the real deal. Um, Tariq. Okay, so we already know that uh Drew and Diana came up with this plan to kill Monet. And then they involved Tariq in it. But Tariq... He was on his now. Let's get let's be real. He was on his way to do the job, but Tasha stepped in. So I'm not gonna sit here and play devil's advocate and not really put out put Tariq business out like that because Tariq knew what it was, but he still got sat up by Drew and Diana when he should have really went to Monet and told Monet what was going on. Now that would have been a fucking real power play. You know what I'm saying? But I'm happy uh, Tasha stepped in. So what is Mo? Okay, so obviously Monet was not there when everybody confronted Tariq inside of that uh, warehouse. It was everybody but Monet. But now that we know Monet is going to be head of the organization, I found out that Kane is going to get a promotion. He's going to be under her. So let's see how this all play out. Like I'm so curious. Like is Tariq uh, going and inform Monet about what Drew and Diana was trying to do to her? Because that would be a whole like. That'll be a game changer. Hopefully, eventually, Tariq put Monet and Kane up on game and everybody can turn their back on um, Drew, Diana, and Effie and eventually know my ass. 